Always great to see Tara Jean's face. Okay, it is 846. Welcome back. You're watching BC Vancouver. It was the first week back to school for many BC students. So how did it go? Joining us now is Jordan Tinney, the superintendent with the Surrey District School Board. Good morning, Jordan. Nice to see you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So how was the first week back for schools in Surrey? We're hearing not a lot of kids showed up. Yeah, it was, I think it was, um, the words I hear are peaceful and calm, but uh, we had about 15% of our students show up. But for us, it's still, you know, 11, 12,000 students, but it's, it's gone really well. It really has. And uh, the weather doesn't hurt. It's always nice when it's sunny. Okay, that's good to hear. So we have been hearing from a lot of teachers, though. Uh, they are pretty overwhelmed with the online learning and the in-person learning. What have you been hearing? Yeah, I think it's really challenging for teachers. So one of the things we're looking at this week is uh, we've, we've always said, uh, hey, it's September in June. Like we're, you know, in every September, we, we count the kids in week one, we form classes, we make our structures, and then we really hit the ground the next week. And this week is no different. So uh, to answer your question, we're looking at, based on our small numbers, how might we consolidate some of those classes as we look towards next week? And that would give more time to teachers to be able to focus on the virtual piece as well, because it is tough for them to balance, but we trust their professional judgment in making the decisions they need to, to find the balance that works for them and their students. So are you expecting more kids to show up next week? Uh, we, we really don't know. I don't think so. It's been pretty stable every day this week that we've been instruction. We've had between five and 6,000 kids. Um, so I think that's just going to be the same. Okay. Uh, and as you mentioned, uh, this week when they were counting the kids uh, before they went into the classroom, I was hearing from some teachers who are friends of mine that it takes a considerable amount of time just to get a handful of kids um, from the front door into the classroom. Uh, do you expect that this is what it's going to look like in September as well, counting the kids every morning? Yeah, I do. Uh, you know, I I think the, the when you think about the protocols that are fighting the pandemic, the number one piece is physical distancing. It's at the top of the list of the things that work most well. So uh, I think it'd be hard for, I mean, of course, could, things could change, but I think to imagine that physical distancing would disappear before September uh, doesn't seem uh, on the horizon, at least for me. So I think people should absolutely prepare for that, and it'll be a lot different uh, with the different structures in September, too. Okay, what else have you been hearing about September, if you could share with us? Sure. So the, the ministry government has a five stage plan. And so in September, while we hear them talk about, hey, it would be great to go back 100 percent just as if life is normal. There also is a, a phase two in between, which is uh, all of the elementary children returning. But for secondary students, just two days a week and the rest of the time virtual. So uh, we could very much be in a hybrid program start September and we could very well be in the program we're in now, which is uh, 50 percent for elementary and 20 percent for secondary. So we've heard that uh, the decisions will be made in late August, but we're planning right now for September and parents should be thinking about what that looks like for them as well. Okay. Uh, finally, lots of uh, new schools expected to be built in Surrey and expansions to current schools as well, which is very exciting. Can you tell us more about this? Yeah, yesterday, uh, another announcement, one of, of several we've had, of course. We have uh, a new school coming uh, in an area called Sunnyside Heights in South Surrey, and then two additions, uh, one to Morgan Elementary and White Rock Elementary. Um, we have, I think, about 13 or 14 projects on the go right now, and I think a huge shout-out, really, to the Ministry of Education, to Rob Fleming, Minister Rob Fleming, and the City of Surrey, uh, who have been fantastic in their collaboration with us as well. The, the Capital Project Office that we have with the school district, the city, and the ministry working closely have just accelerated uh, our projects on a, on a pace we haven't seen for a long time. Uh, we have a long way to go, we, um, but it's just fantastic every time we get an announcement. Mm -hmm. And I suspect uh, overcrowding is a big issue that you guys have right now in Surrey, hey? Yep, and it will continue. You know, we uh, we want we want more kids. We want the kids back in the fall. It seem, does seem really strange to have, uh, you know, only 60, 80, 100 kids in an elementary school. So that certainly isn't Surrey's usual story. So we look forward to a, to a fall as normal should that come. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Jordan. It was great to have you. All right. Well, thanks very much for letting me come. Okay. It is 8:51 now on Breakfast Television. We're